Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is the 21st day of June 2021. We're going to answer the question, if biogenomics stock, if it is a buy or not, is BNGO a buy? We're going to answer that question today on the video. You guys can see that we are one of the best locations to see where price is going to go in the stock market. We don't have any confusing indicators on our chart. We're not here to confuse you by using those technical analyst jargon that so many people try to utilize as if there's some expert in the space. We don't do all of that. It doesn't require that. The market is not meant to be confusing. It's meant to be an area of orderly markets as well as efficient. And in order to have those two things, you cannot have any confusing jargon, any confusing technical indicators on charts, right? So we're going to talk about uh, biogenomics, see if the stock is a buy. We're going to update you all on our last price prediction into the market in BNGO and get in position so that we can win in the space going forward. Now, if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to, right? The market is a place of, right now, is a place of individuality to where it seems as if you're on the island by yourself, but we want to build a team to where we all can be in position and win against the trap, right? If you want to join us, you're here. Hit the like button, share, subscribe to the channel, tap that bell. I mean, join our community if you want to make sure that you stay in the know, that you stay updated as to where market price is going to go. All right. So now, BNGO. The last time we did our price prediction in the market for BNGO was on April the 18th. You guys can see we played the, the weakness in the market in BNGO, right? We did. But initially, look at the market, right? It went higher. Did it not? Yeah, it did. And it went past our area of restriction, but it really didn't. Right here, you guys can see how the market in BNGO barely went above our restriction area. See, this is what we're talking about, not placing stop losses in the market, right? You never wanna put stop losses on the exchanges. Because the trap, the one you see on the bottom left side of my screen, he can see those stop losses. You're actually telling him, you're throwing up a flag, say, hey, I'm here. I'm right here. I'm willing to take my loss right here at this particular price when you have stop losses. So every price prediction you see, those are not our stop losses. That's where we're expecting a market weakness to come through and market price to come back down, right? And that is precisely what it did only you need to know where your stop losses are at don't give that information to the trap that is too much power you are giving to him you need to make it hard for him to try to figure out where you are willing to let your positions go and you do not do that when you place your stop losses in the market so be wary of anyone that is telling you that you need to have stop losses on the exchange because they have no idea what they're talking about only you need to know where you are willing to take your losses don't tell that to nobody else okay because what you will soon find out in this particular situation imagine all the people who have stop losses right there around seven dollars and fifty cents in bngo and look at what happened the market went back down to where we expected it to go right it did so you would have missed out on this profitability that started in our prediction from May the 5th, climaxing all the way on May the 13th. So that would have given us what? From May the 13th, about 23.5%. So we did a price prediction on April the 16th. Market topped out on our prediction. Not exactly on our ultimate TP price, but it's pretty close. Just like where the market restriction came in, the market came and hit our, it didn't hit it exactly, but a little bit shorter of where our ultimate TP price was. And that was still around 24% from where BNGO price was when we did our price prediction right there. All right, so that's done. Let's run that out. So the question is, is BNGO stock a buy right here? at the price of seven dollars and sixty two cents okay now let's run this back because we need to see if the market in bngo is in an uptrend okay 
So far, so good. Okay. So yeah, the market is in the uptrend on a daily time frame. But are we in a strong bullish uptrend? No, I don't think so. I really think the market in BNGO is trading sideways, right? <clears throat> and so far that support area closer to where price traded on last Friday is around $7, $6.80. $6 definitely is an area of support into the market in BNGO as well, okay? So we're not seeing a lot, right? The market here in BNGO is not giving us uh, a lot of indication that the market is extremely weak. It's not giving us a big indication that the market is extremely strong. Now, looking at this from a weekly perspective, we really have to be careful of what occurred on these two weekly price bars. Okay. We have to be careful because those two weeks shows us that the market in BNGO sold off. Like people were selling BNGO at these prices. Now, if you're already biased and looking for BNGO to go higher, you don't like to hear that, but it is what it is. You can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. When the market is selling off, you have to go the way the trap is trying to lead the price. And right now he is showing us from a weak perspective that he's trying to drop the value of BNGO or there's someone in the market in BNGO selling their shares. You can tell that by the volume, right? So when I look at this on a weekly perspective, yeah, the market in BNGO is weak. This is the market on a two weeks time frame. You see that too, that the market in BNGO on a two week perspective has been unable to keep that price above $9. We close all the way on the low. So I really want us to focus in on $7 as that area of support. I am going to play the weakness in the market in BNGO, but only to $7. Like I told you, yes, the market is in the uptrend right now, but it's not extremely bullish in terms of an upward momentum. So I'm really expecting a trap to try to come through and break this trend and come and test the price around seven. All the way back down here towards six dollars and forty five cents right there. OK, so let me do that real quick. Because we said what seven dollars first. That's about eight percent, eight and a quarter percent right there to six dollars and forty-five cents. Which is about fifteen and three quarters. So we're gonna play the market right there in BNGO. Nine dollars is restriction. Okay. This is what we're looking forward to. We're looking for the trap to try to decrease the value of BNGO. Right. I'm not telling you that the market's going to crash. So just relax if you're biased into looking for BNGO to go higher. It is just not going to go higher right now. OK, we have to wait and see if we're going to get more volume, more strength to come through at seven dollars to six dollars and forty five cents. And if we do, yes, at that time, the market will start to go higher in price. But when I look at this on the two weeks, the weekly and even here on the three weeks time frame, the market is garnering to us some weakness. So we have to anticipate how low will the market go. And right now we're anticipating around $7 to $6.45 right there. So we're in position. This is what we're looking forward to into the market for BNGL. Now, tell me, I want you all to call the markets with me and tell me in the comment section, where do you all think the price in BNGO is going to go? Just let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability and as always, trade different.